Let's do a look now what I call Living Up to Your Name. And we start with the song. Jesus is the name of the Lord. Jesus is the name of the Lord. Jesus is the name of the Lord. Most time. Of course, the person that we're actually looking at, his name is Nabal. And we find his account in 1 Samuel 25 verse 10. And the meaning of his name is actually fully. And we do know that in societies, I mean, right across the world, including the Middle East, you know, uh, all the way to Africa, usually your name is supposed to reflect your character. In fact, in some instances, particularly, for instance, in the Middle East, if your name translates to beauty or pretty, you're supposed to make yourself look beautiful. In other words, you're supposed to reflect your name. And this is actually what is happening in this particular account. Then Nabal answered David's servant and said, Who is David? And who is the son of Jesse? There are many servants nowadays who break away each one from his master. Shall I then take my bread and my water and my meat that I've killed for my sharers and give it to men when I do not know where they are from? Please, this is verse 25. Let not my Lord regard this scoundrel Nabal, for his name is so, so easy. Nabal is his name and folly is with him. This is the wife actually talking about Nabal. That, you know, he's just basically his character denying these guys that are given protection to all this property that Nabal had in the desert, you know, being a world of protection around them and not being able to even acknowledge this or even give any kind of gift, you know, for the protection that his, his employees had enjoyed. Just registers his name, which is if, which is fully, and the wife refers to him as a scoundrel, you know. Uh, so I think part of the things that we learn from this passage, of course, is being very careful about the kinds of names you know, that we give our children, let's give names that, you know, reflect uh, Christ, you know, reflect our values as believers and as Christians. And even the things that we say also matter a lot, you know, uh, pronouncing evil, you know, uh, you know, because the things that we say are actually prophetic. So let's, you know, provide good stuff and let those good stuff begin to happen because words really do have power.